but it's the most stupid silly ever. However, I said to myself, if I speak about Islam to be stupid from my own, well, Muslim will say, well, this is a Christian prince saying that. So I decide to bring Mimi Hijab. Mimi Hijab, oh, no, this is not Mimi Hijab. What the heck is that? Where does the guy coming to me from? Okay, hold on. Where is Mimi Hijab? Let me search for Mimi Hijab. They are not even close. They are not even from the same country. My geography is messed up like Muhammad's geography. All right. So I found a video for Mimi Hijab. And uh, uh, the title of the video, it says, Scientific Errors in Quran Refuted. You know, are you kidding me? For sure it's refuted, you know. And then here, I want to say thank you to Mimi Hijab. May Allah bless her. She gave us uh, how to jump from topic to topic. Like here, you do not need, like you, you can search for a certain topic and you can go to uh, any of them. I'm not going to skip really, but this will be like in this. I mean, the video is, is what? Uh, is two hours, three hours? Yeah, almost three hours. So if I want to talk about all of it, play it all of it. I mean, if I play it all of it, it's just three hours. Uh, me talking at least will be three hours. That will be six hours. So I'm not going to do that. But I'm going to show you how stupid, uh, uh, how the stupid Muhammadan, they refute the claims. The first claim is, Adam, I height is 60 cubit. Make sense? How the Muslim, they can fix that? Listen carefully and try not to laugh. I choose the first one, you know, and then we will see what we will take next. Today, inshallah, we're going to be dealing with a hadith uh, which references uh, Adam alayhi salam, a prophet of Islam, as being 60 cubits tall, which is like 27 meters. And they say this is unbelievable and impossible. But before we get to this hadith, let's talk about the Islamic stance on the theory of evolution. Generally speaking, talking about the theory of evolution, Muslims don't have an issue or shouldn't really have an issue with speciation, adaptation, or even uh, evolution of animals, because mm -hmm. we believe that uh, there's nothing explicit in the Quran one way or the other. And I actually done a podcast really? with Abdullah al-Ajayri. Sheikh Abdullah al-Ajayri is a prominent figure in Saudi Arabia uh -huh. uh, who researches these matters and well published in, in this field. And mm -hmm. uh, in my discussion with him, this was his opinion. So, which is quite frankly, like 99.9% .9 if we look at it from a mass perspective. Yeah, you know. That's it. That, uh, you know, Allah Jairi said, you know, it, uh, we are not against that, but you know, but he cannot give us a proof from where he got this that. I mean, can you, you know, where are you, where, uh, where are you and Allah Jairi brought us this from? Show us in the Quran where it says that evolution in the Quran is accepted. I want to see that. Go ahead. And, and you know, they know nobody is going to question anyway. I mean, but the second we say, okay, where do you get this from? I mean, shouldn't you give us reference? Where the Quran and Islam teach evolution? So now the guy, he was 60 uh, 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 cubit uh, tall, and now we became, we became six foot tall. Huh. Not much different, and yet we cannot find one bone, like what they say. I mean, a guy is six cubit tall, sixty cubit tall. This is a this is a guy six floor buildings. Okay, can we find one bone for such a giant man? Okay, so now they they found the solution. This is evolution, but ev but this is not what evolution says. Does it? Really, 99.9% .9 of the theory. The, uh, the issue we have, um, we take issue with, or the point of evolution, the slither of, which really diametrically opposes some of the Islamic narratives is uh, human evolution. Now, obviously, we have a narrative. We have a narrative in Islam, which is that the Adam alayhi salam was created directly, or this prophet Adam was created directly by Allah, by God Almighty. And there are many things which differentiate human beings from the rest of the animal kingdom. Morality, the, uh, the ability to question why, you know, um, this uh, many different things, language, civilization, and so on and so forth. And 
it couldn't have been the case, we would argue, that we can actually in any way be, uh, be equated uh, to the rest of the animal kingdom. And there's something special about human beings. Allah says in the Quran that he has dignified the child. And supposedly he is saying Arabic, by the way, but I'm not going to make fun of it. Children of Adam. So we, we don't necessarily agree or disagree. We can remain agnostic as to, uh, you know, Darwinian evolution with other animals, but as it relates to uh, the human being. We don't agree or disagree with Darwin. Hmm. Okay. What an opinion, man. We agree about not to agree, but about disagree. So don't we don't agree and we don't disagree. Uh, I hope I made it clear for you, you know. We Muslims, you know, we, we understand, you know, we don't disagree with Darwin, but we don't agree with uh, da Darwin. And, you know, we agree not, with, but we agree. But we, we agree and we don't agree. And we don't agree and yet we... What, what, say it again. Civilization and so on and so forth. <laughs> and it couldn't have been the case, we would argue, that we can actually in any way be, uh, be equated uh, to the rest of the animal kingdom and there's something special about human beings Allah says in the Quran that he has dignified the ch children of Adam so we, we don't necessarily agree or disagree we can remain agnostic as to uh, you know Darwinian evolution with other animals but mm. as it relates to uh, the human being there is something special about the human being uh, so all the animals they change except the human being that's it this is now it's convincing you know <laughs> So when you God Allah, He said He created, a, a, you know, a, a, a two pairs of cattle, you know, four pairs of cattle, uh, you know, that's it, the, the evolution. The Quran did not mention any cattle as four. The Quran mentioned that animals is either walk in their belly or with two legs or four legs. This is what the Quran is saying. Oh, we can show reference. But anyway, so here He is trying to explain why Islam is a stupid but anyway you can watch it yourself it's not really important but I want to just show you how they are trying to duct tape and just blah 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 but you know what is the proof that Adam was 60 cubit long if there's any proof the Muslim now if you go and search for Prophet Adam grave you will find the Muslims they have a graveyard for Adam in every every place in the world they have a grave of Adam in Pakistan, they have a grave of Adam in Iran. They have a grave of Adam in Saudi Arabia. They have a grave of Adam in Afghanistan. They have a grave of Adam and all of them, they are so long. Look, look, brother, look. Oh, I found one. Even even Adam and Eve in one grave. Look, this is a different grave. This the one in the right is different. The one in the other one is different. This one is different. Look at this one. This one. This is our sister uh, uh, Eve and Adam in the, like sister in the uh, in the left, and uh, Adam in the right. And look, how the grave is long, but still it's not six six cubit. Okay, why we don't open them and see if there is any bones there? They have a grave for Adam everywhere in the world. Look at this one. This is a different one. Look like Adam, he died everywhere. I mean, this guy, I think he was taking an airplane or and the airplane explodes. So his head, this is his arm maybe. One arm went to Pakistan. One arm went to Afghanistan. The other arm went to uh, to the mouth of Mimi Hijab. Uh, you name it. So the guy, even, even they have his, his foot step in Sri Lanka. Yes, brother, because Adam, he uh, landed in Sri Lanka. And where he landed? In the top of the mount here. And this is his footstep, brother. Mm. And then he went to Jeddah. But true. I mean, it must be true story. Uh, but this is even, this is a this is a Buddhist temple. So it looks like the Muslims, even they are stealing stories from the Buddhist, which is proof that Islam linked to India at the end. Islam is an Indian religion. Because why Muhammad even chose from all the world saying that Adam came from India? You tell me. Right? Uh, I mean, they have, they have, you know, yeah, look. This is Noah. Look, Noah. Look, Noah. Noah look like a, a falafel sandwich. So this is a prophet Noah. They knew where his grave. Prophet Noah, peace be upon him, brother. Okay, do you have the uh, the grave of his wife too, or only him? You know, you know, what a lonely guy. What the heck is that? You know, they make those graves just to make money. 
from from the naive ones who they are coming they pray around them kiss them you know the woman she cannot have kids the sheikh there he take off her panty and make her have a baby because the husband is not able to do it so praise be to Allah you know anyway let us go back to Mimi hijab and see how he is fixing things around you know I mean okay forget about Adam now how tall he is Prophet of Allah he knows best that's it Prophet of Allah he said he is 60 cubits